Hi, my name is Christina Harrington. I'm glad to be here with the State of Black Design. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about um, Building Utopia, which is a project um, that focuses on shifting power and who gets to future through an Afrofuturist speculative design lens. Um, so a little bit about me um, and the design and research work that I do uh, all really focuses on community-based participatory research approaches to um, expanding who gets to design. Um, so thinking about uh, methods of participatory and uh, co-design, um, particularly with groups who have been historically marginalized um, and racially minoritized within um, the United States. Um, a lot of it falls within areas of ethnographic inquiry um, and user-centered uh, design studies, um, but all really centers on this concept of collective futuring. Um, and uh, that work in collective futuring has led to a toolkit um, and some research that we want to share with you all today. Um, so a large part of the work that I do is thinking about who is able to participate in collective futuring um, and the ability to reimagine our present world. Um, so this was actually a billboard in the neighborhood of East Liberty in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, and there are black people in the future is a campaign um, and slogan that Alicia Wormsley um, had these these words blown up and displayed as a call to attention to the black bodies, families, homes, and history that are often forgotten in gentrification efforts. Um, so this text has actually become the basis of both protest and collective dreaming to reassure the presence of black people and how we think about the future. Um, and if we look at, uh, you know, statistics and numbers across you know, the design field and design as a discipline, um, we see that there is kind of a lack of that existence and that representation of who gets to um, kind of think about designing, you know, what comes next in terms of products, spaces, technology, environments. Um, today, we see that there is a, you know, a gap in uh, the representation of historically marginalized folks in the design field with the current landscape of design seeing only 7% Hispanic representation and only 3% um, Black representation. Um, when we think about considering building a more equitable design practice, scholars and practitioners are beginning to engage frameworks such as Afrofuturism and Afrofuturist feminism as legitimate critical frameworks that center the lived experiences of Black identities and other historically excluded populations, recognizing their contributions to design futuring as being essential in more equitable design practices. Afrofuturism, for those who are not familiar, um, and other diasporic approaches to futuring, such as African futurism, uh, share a vision for reimagining societal shortcomings to push progress and new existences for those with historically marginalized identities. Um, there is an opportunity to examine any conversation that focuses on the intersection of race and design innovation through a lens of radical futuring. So we're now uh, seeing with projects like the PAC project by Stephanie Dinkins and 51 Futures and anti-racist design pop-ups, such as the work that Chris Rudd uh, shared yesterday, um, what it means to engage the black community in envisioning futures. Um, and uh, 51, Pro 51 Futures um, in Boxville and um, the Bronzeville neighborhood in Chicago um, was actually a um, community engaged effort of defining what does equity look like um, and what does anti-racism in the future of um, the south side of Chicago look like. Um, so we're, we're kind of seeing more this participatory lens where designers have themselves have taken a step back to allow community residents to lead conversations on futuring. Um, it's just a quick snippet of the work that done to inform how we're thinking about Afrofuturist speculation. 
um, myself in collaboration with um, another design scholar explored how black and brown communities envision futures for their communities by conducting a series of speculative co-design workshops with residents of the Bronzeville Corridor in Chicago in partnership with the Design Apprenticeship Program at the Arts and Public Life Performing Arts Center, um, which was founded by Theaster Gates. So we build on the work of Woodrow Winchester, um, who directly situates Afrofuturism as a culturally empathetic way to think about technology innovation that negotiates with notions of difference. A lot of what we learned from this project was that there is inherent value in looking to Afrofuturism as a lens for black and brown communities to see themselves as the architects of their own futures, placing themselves as the protagonists of uh, future scenarios, as the ones that invent systems that directly impact their communities, the ones who consider the lines between technology and humanity, and as engaging in a new design language that eliminates exclusivity and privileged approaches to brainstorming. So we begun to examine the ways that we engage black and brown communities in the design process to speculate futures of technology or even uh, futures of community itself, um, kind of considering how do we make this more equitable? How do we shift from traditional participatory methods to being more community led and community driven and considering what that means for power dynamics? Um, so we introduced the Building Utopia um, toolkit as an Afrofuturist speculative design toolkit designed by organizers, strategists, and educators to imagine the future of our communities and consider the legacy we are leaving for those communities, whether that be in the technologies that we use, the spaces that we live in, or the systems that make up our world. So uh, Building Utopia integrates tenets of liberatory design, emergent strategy, and Afrofuturist feminism to walk um, individuals through curating visions of the future that emphasize illuminating our histories, defining liberatory futures, building competence of lived experiences, counter storytelling, critical imagination, and equitable futures. Um, with this project, I've had the opportunity to build out this idea with a group of amazing Black women and non-binary folks that span community and emancipatory design, education equity, and design research. So going into um, the toolkit itself, uh, the Building Utopia toolkit consists of five card decks and a guidebook. Um, the five card decks are the forecasting deck, the topics deck, the methods deck, the tools and solution deck, um, the liberation deck. Um, and the topics deck includes culturally relevant and community related topics for speculation, the methods deck provides simple ideation exercises sharing methods that encourage collaborative design. The liberation deck asks questions about how communities define their own liberation and bring their experiences into the design process. The tools deck includes technical and non-technical design solutions that serve as prompts for thinking about the what tools might help bring about desired futures. Um, and the guidebook walks users through different visioning exercises that employs each of those decks um, or these decks can be used standalone to consider more equitable futures. One of the major values of the toolkit is that it reframes design by explicitly incorporating topics like black joy, anti-discrimination, or environmental racism and integrates liberatory processes to ground how we think about the future. Uh, a lot of the work we've done over the past year in developing this toolkit is doing community design workshops to test out how this toolkit would be used and getting early feedback. We've heard a number of different use cases that will allow both those who identify as designers and those who are design adjacent to rethink what is design, who has access to design the future, and how can my organization or group benefit from thinking about the future in this way. Building Utopia has been designed to be unapologetically Black um, and representative of those from the African diaspora seeing themselves in the way we think about and design the future. But we encourage this as a toolkit to be used by everyone who strategizes or organizes alongside historically marginalized groups. 
We invite you to um, keep up with our work, join the Building Utopia Deck movement um, by going to buildingutopiadeck.com, um, signing up for our newsletter, and um, staying updated uh, with us as well as um, following us on social media at Building Utopia Deck on Instagram. Um, and as I mentioned, our website. Thank you so much.